Hey YouTube, it's me again. Now we're going to be doing a review of the Yatsi remote for Kodi or XBMC. In my, in my view, this is one of the better, if not the best remote to use for your XBMC or your Kodi. The app can be found on Google Play for your Android persons and even for your Android Wear. What you simply do is just go to the App Store, download the app like I have here, and then we get started. So this will be just a review and not really a how-to, but you can get an idea how to use this thing. All right, I just freshly installed mine, so basically you just go to Manage here. You see no host, you just click here. It should and, and add running host. Um, it should auto-detect it. Waiting for it to auto detect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it doesn't, you can try again. Ah, uh, sometimes it doesn't automatically pull it out. You agree? Click add a host. It's gonna be adding the stuff. All right, I'm going to show you first what goes on on your phone, tablet, whatever you have this thing installed on. Just go back out. All right. First thing you probably want to do is sync your movie library to your, to your, you have to long press in order for it to be synced. All right, I have 173 movies, which is not a lot. And then you can click on here that syncs your TV shows. And what what's so great about this thing? Why should you get this over the, XBMC official remote simply there are many features I'm just going to give you some of the rundown of the stuff I like about this thing when you go to your movies you see all of the movies here that you install and information about it like you can also play directly clicking the play button you click play it plays on your TV whatever you have your code installed on so this is just one of the stuff. You can see your movies, you can see if they're in sets, that kind of stuff. You have your music, I don't have any music here. And you can, the nicest thing is you can click on add-ons and see all your add-ons. Takes a while, but once it gets there, you can browse your, your, your add-ons. You can even operate some of your add-ons from, from, from just the remote here. That means you can type in, like for instance, I'm in Genesis here. I can start searching for my movie from inside the app. And you, your virtual keyboard comes up, you type, that kind of situation. It is definitely the better app and it's actually free. It's free. In order to unlock it, you probably pay something like six dollars. That's what the developer is asking for, and I think it's a worthwhile buy or a worthwhile try. Once you try, you will buy it. That's what I I believe. You will definitely buy it. it. The features are really way too much for me to go in in detail with just one review. But I'm saying, listen, I'm not affiliated with this guy, and trust me, it's worth the buy. That's my view. It's worth the buy. I'm going to demonstrate what some of the stuff looks like on the TV, but let's just show you some stuff. You click here. You can even get the, the play your trailers from here. When you click play trailers, you'll probably hear it running in the background on my TV and stuff. You turn it up, the volume right here, and it turns it up. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but that's playing on my TV. Can't do the dual display thing yet, but trust me, I'm going to show you. You can even Google search the movie that you're currently um, seeing. Then, look, right here, you can pause that movie. You can click on that movie. Shows you the director, all of the good stuff. All of the good stuff. This is definitely a remote worth trying and a remote worth buying. That's a Yatsi remote for Kodi XBMC. I'm going to show you how it operates on the TV. Basically, how easy it is to browse. And this is my, this is my smartphone I'm browsing from. I bet you can browse from your watch or your 
your device just like this it's worth it not affiliated with this guy he's not saving me giving me any other money to tell you this but trust me it's worth it all right just going to give you a quick show of what it does while you're looking at the tv all right so let's let's get into it okay so we start our movie from the remote well, as i said before you can pause your movie from the remote and the coolest thing about this remote is you're not just able to see the information but in most cases you are able to set the setting that it changes the wallpaper of your phone and it sets its own wallpaper so for instance we're watching samurai x here now and you can just simply click and try to retrieve your subtitles if you save them so you see on screen searching for subtitles this is really cool and just like it this is just like a super remote if you just click and it retrieves your subtitles so that's one of the cool stuff i think is really really fascinating about this thing um then the fact is you can even go to your playlist and you can scan your video library from here you can clean your video library you can do a whole ton of stuff get into your favorites now look my favorites with just one click you can it's like endless possibilities the developer really did a lot of work on this thing and i'm saying that's why i said this is one of the best remote and this has been my review of the yatsi Cody <laughs> XBMC remote. So you just look up for it on the Play Store. It's worth it, man. Definitely worth it. Thanks for watching, guys.